Hey guys, it's Anna, and welcome to my channel. Today, I bring you the video you have all been waiting for. Well, maybe not all of you. A lot of you. It's been very highly requested. I bring you my perfume collection video. It's very exciting, I know. Honestly, I'm not gonna have much of an intro here because there's a lot of fragrances to go over, so, so I'm gonna go ahead and pan over to the perfumes. So this is my fragrance collection. I store my fragrances on the top shelf of my closet and it's worked out really well for me because you know they're stored in a cool, dry, dark place um, and I do have enough room for them as of now. <laughs> um, that won't last too long. Eventually I will have to migrate them to somewhere bigger but for now this works. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Guerlain's Coconut Fizz. And this is my favorite summer fragrance. Hands down, this is the best coconut perfume there is. This is so refreshing. It's like coconut water. Oh my gosh, it's excellent. Then we have Zara's Ebony Wood. Unique woody fragrance kind of smells like an enchanted forest. It has like a slight cherry sweetness um, fresh spicy notes Dossier's oriental cherry dupe to Tom Ford's lost cherry. I Exclusively wear this for layering. I don't use it on its own because it's a bit too sweet and linear for me but when I want to add a cherry note to any of my fragrances. This is perfect. Ariana Grande Cloud 2.0 Intense. This one is my favorite out of the two. Um, it lasts better and it's a bit warmer, more ambery, more creamy. The Seven Virtues Suntal Vani. Oh my gosh, my absolute obsession. Truly, if I was a signature scent kind of girl, it would be this or from the Marley Herod, like hands down. <laughs> this is very similar to Le Labo's Suntal 33, but this is a bit tamer. Um, it's not quite as loud and harsh and dry, and it has an added vanilla note. Absolutely spectacular. Back here, we have Bond number no. 9, Greenwich Village. This has a Baccarat Rouge type of airy sweetness, but this is a lot fresher. It's aquatic, has beautiful floral fruity notes to it. The cult classic Parfum de Marly Delina. This is, of course, rhubarb, lychee, rose, peony. It's so sensual and feminine, but extremely classy at the same time. Love it so much. I also had to have Delina exclusive. This is more creamy, powdery, vanilla. So this is better for fall, winter, or nights out. And I haven't featured this on my channel before, but I really enjoy it. It's just because it hasn't been the season for it. Parfum de Marly Cassilli. This is excellent in spring. This is floral, peachy, vanilla, oh, so good and amazing, layered with Kaoli's Vanilla 28. We have Meliora. This is really fresh, classy. Um, a lot of berries in here, like think wild berries and then like a refreshing, crisp green note. Lamar by Kajal. This is the best pineapple fragrance I've ever smelled. Performance is absolute beast mode. Like it's literally insane. Two sprays will last absolutely forever. Also just a really unique scent as well. Totally unisex. I really recommend checking this one out. We have the Sol de Janeiro Sol Charosa 62. This is the infamous Boom Boom Cream in a fragrance. Amouage Sunshine Woman. This is one of my first niche fragrance discoveries. I absolutely love it. It's so unique. It's so good. It's like white tobacco with apricots. Let's grab Miss Prada Le Femme. Very beautiful, classic, clean fragrance. Could easily make a signature scent. This is warm, 
clean, creamy. You have yellow florals like frangipani, ylang ylang. Um, you have tuberose in here as well. It's lightly sweetened with vanilla. And then there's a really interesting beeswax note in here. And back here we have Goldfield and Banks, Silky Woods. Hello. <laughs> Me with the camera. This is such a sweet powdered sugar donut vanilla fragrance with a lot of beautiful woody notes. You have suede, super likable. My little baby Zerjoff. <laughs> this is Dolce Amalfi. Um, really unique quince note in this fragrance. So you get a great blast of citrus. You get fresh spicy notes. It's warm, a bit ambery, really, really good. Then back here we have BDK Velvet Tonka. Unique almond fragrance. It's like a darker almond fragrance. Like in the beginning you're getting sweet powdery vanilla and then as it dries down you're getting tobacco, um, bourbon vanilla, rose oil, Van Cleef and Arpels Rose Rouge. This is superior to Lancome's Roses Berberanza. Um, it doesn't have that funky opening and it's just a really great jammy rose. Nicolef's Note Vini, one of my all-time favorite vanillas. It's boozy, it has an addictive citrus opening. My other favorite vanilla is Guerlain's Spiritus de Limini. Show you a little close up of the bottle here. So pretty. This is a true sweetened vanilla extract fragrance. There's benzoin in here, so you get that balsamic note. There's incense, which is so addicting. You have the woody note of cedar. I cannot recommend this enough. Chloe Nomad Absolute. I love this one and the original, but but this is my favorite out of the two. This one is a bit more woody, which is, as you know, my favorite. Um, this is super classy and refined, uh, beautiful citrus fragrance. You have Mirabelle Plum, and then there's like a great oak moss note in here. Like I said, woody, just beautiful. The iconic Mangerlan, the original. Lavender vanilla. You can see how much I've used of this bottle. It's really a dumb reach for me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move to the other side of the closet. The best chocolate of all time, hands down, Guerlain's Gourmand Coquine. Literally nothing comes close to this. <laughs> this is the unicorn in my collection. This is rum, chocolate, spices. Oh my gosh, so good. Then super underrated, Lancome Idol Aura. This is my choice of a summery, salty vanilla. The iconic Kaoli Vanilla 28, also one of my favorite vanillas. This is amazing for layering and so good on its own. This is a brown sugar vanilla orchid, warm, a bit ambery, a little bit boozy fragrance. Then we have Chanel Coco Mademoiselle, the intense version, similar to the original, but this is a warmer, more vanilla, a little bit more modern. The iconic Flower Bomb. I feel like this should be called Sweet Bomb. <laughs> it's like a very sweet, floral, sugary, candy-like fragrance. MFK's Baccarat Rouge 540. As you can see, I've just blown through this fragrance. This is a woody, ambery, spun sugar. BDK Rouge Smoking. This juice color though, oh my gosh. This is my favorite cherry fragrance. This is like a powdery vanilla with a fizzy, almost like cherry Pepsi note. Armani Privé Rouge Malachite, my favorite tuberose fragrance. Um, this is really warm and creamy. It has some ambery notes. Fragrance Dubois Minway Demi, one of my absolute favorite fragrances to wear in fall. I love the coffee note that's in here because it's really soft. It's not um, anything overly coffee, and then it's sweetened with vanilla, caramel. You get an addictive spiciness from the cardamom, pimento. Um, there's liquor in here, a lot of sexy, addicting base notes. My baby, Initio's Oud for Greatness. This is 
a elevated, confident leather outfit in a bottle uh, with a Baccarat Rouge type of sweetness. And then reaching back here, we have Moogler Angel Muse. This is still very much so holding on to the DNA of the original, but the patchouli is toned down. And then you have this added chocolate note, which Ugh, oh my gosh. This is one of those fragrances that is absolutely me in a bottle. It's earthy, woody, and then you have those gourmand elements to it. This is another unicorn in my fragrance, in my fragrance, <laughs> in my fragrance collection, Armani Code Satin. I actually have a backup bottle in the left hand corner right over there because it's so good I can't be without it. Such a shame that they discontinued this because it's just hands down the best code. Um, there's praline, vanilla, chocolate, some floral notes. Then we have Nirvana Bourbon, similar to Spiritus de Livigny, um, but a lot more simplified. And this is more woody than it is vanilla, where Spiritus de Livigny is more vanilla than it is woody. And arguably my favorite fragrance of all time is Parfum de Marly Herod. This is ch <laughs> glorious <laughs> tobacco, vanilla, cinnamon, uh, woody notes. It's just wow. 10 out of 10 masterpiece. Could never be without it. Navitus Soir exclusive. This is my favorite almond fragrance for sure. Unique, super likable. This is like perfect for date night. Um, really unique combination of notes. So you have almond, licorice, vanilla, marshmallow, woody notes. So, so good. My absolute favorite pick from Navitus. Then we have last full bottle. Tom Ford's Jasmine Rouge. Oh my gosh, this is such a true jasmine scent. It's so realistic, so beautiful. I get a lot of compliments on this one. You get some fresh spiciness, amber, woody notes. Wow, this is my favorite jasmine fragrance for sure. And then over here in the corner, I have a little mini, how cute, of Jazz Club. Oh my gosh 100 percent getting a full bottle yes please it's it's spectacular it truly is what it says it is it smells like a jazz club now have i ever been to a jazz club no but i'm telling you i get it i get the vibe i get the energy and i'm going to go to a jazz club wearing this one day you are totally getting the tobacco the rum the fresh spiciness, there's a little bit of vanilla to sweeten it up. This is literally such a vibe in a bottle. I cannot wait to get a full bottle. And then over here, I just have a couple of travel sprays. So not a lot going on because I really love my full bottles. <laughs> we have a Bath & Body Works spray, Into the Night. They don't carry this anymore, which is unfortunate. I like this just, you know, when I want to reach for something that's more easy, crowd-pleasing. Like, I don't want to think too hard about anything. I just want, like, an easy scent. Then we have a travel of Note Vigny. I'm so glad that they include travel sprays of their fragrances when you purchase directly from their website. And then my absolute baby, yes. I only have a little bit left, as you can see. So that's why I got the full bottle, because it was necessary. But yeah, got a little Centalvany here. Then in this box, this is where I keep my samples. And I don't have an extremely large sample collection because truly, when I get my samples, I automatically, immediately use them. <laughs> I go through them. I just get so excited to test new perfumes that I never have an abundance just sitting idly by. And then this right here um, holds samples that are out of season. So let's say it's spring or summer and I have fragrance samples and I'm like, okay, I need to try these in the fall and winter. I'll put them in here and then just bring them out when the weather changes. So that's my fragrance collection. You know, it's definitely bigger than your average guy or gal, <laughs> but in terms of the fragrance community, I would say I have a smaller uh, collection because 
I don't know, I really only want to have bottles of perfumes that I love and adore. So I'm very extremely picky and selective with all the fragrances that I keep and uh, bring in. And I can proudly say that I wear every single one of my perfumes. So that was it. My perfume collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already. If you want to see me in any more videos, I would appreciate it so, so much. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!